Hey everybody, it's Christine, and today I am up for the scrap room using the double shot kit, and this is a COVID-19 themed page kit from Photo Play Paper. So there are some great patterned papers in here, but what I really want to highlight today is the flip up journaling book that I made to go along with it. So I'm starting things off using this ledger style paper along with this really fun green paper. What I really like about this paper is just the color of it. It's a kind of unique shade of green for from other collections that I've worked with. You can see I pulled the edges up a little bit and then I'm also going to work into some blue cardstock and red cardstock just because I don't want to have too many patterns going on. Now this is going to be a single photo layout because it's going to be journaling heavy and so I'm going to use just one picture and I'm going to actually use it to tell my story from this time period. Funny enough I have actually already scrapbooked this same picture for another quarantine themed layout but that's okay. I don't have that many pictures of myself from that period so it's fun to tell that story. Now you can see I've got that picture there. I did print it in black and white so that it would work well with the color scheme that I have going on and it's just a traditional four by six size. The next thing I want to talk about is that I'm going to do this flip up page, um, flip up book if you will for my journaling and I'm going to start talking about it now because there's a lot to it. What I did is I cut out all these cut apart cards. These are three by four and the actual assembly, I'm, you're going to see me trying to put it together but it didn't work and I'll point out why it didn't work and then I'll tell you what I did to make it work. So I'm scoring along the top title part. So my top one's gonna say stay home and then I'm gonna have games played, movies I watched, books I read, etc. So at first I thought, oh, I'll just glue them one on top of the other. Thankfully, I didn't push too hard because this is not gonna work uh, because obviously I'll lose all the underneath layers. So what I ended up doing is I cut out a three inch wide just piece of white cardstock and I glued my top title on and then underneath I glued another layer and then I glued another layer and then I glued another layer. So the stay home part actually shows more than you're seeing right at the moment and you'll see that as I transition further on into the layout but they all end up so the top one flips up and you can read the next one then the next one flips up and you can read the next one so i just glued the scored part onto the paper however for whatever reason i didn't get it on camera i think because i was confused about what i was doing <laughs> so you can see here how it ended up so that top part flips up then underneath it the next one flips up and so on and so forth so what is actually showing right now is just the layers that come out from underneath um, in my mind, I thought it would be really cool to have all the titles of each journaling card coming out, but it just didn't work that way. And that's okay. I liked just the way it looks like an interactive element and the colors are all within there. Um, a really easy, simple way to change up your journaling approach, but also to be able to include a lot of those journaling cards. I don't necessarily want to lay out with all of those individually, like an individual layout for each one on there. So this worked out really well for just adding a whole bunch into one layout. Now I'm adding my title. These are stickers from Simple Stories and I'm just putting COVID-19 on there using a combination of foam, letter stickers, and their Color Vibe sticker books. Then I'm going to go ahead and embellish. So you can see I've got some clusters that I'm starting to build up here um, using different ephemera that came in the page kit and just trying to make the eye work around and use different elements that I thought worked well in telling my story. Some of the pieces in this are not going to work perfectly for every single person's story, just like in any other collection. Um, some of them will apply really well to you and other parts maybe not so much. So, like I said, this is part of the double shot kit from the scrap room this month, and you can check that out on her website. It's a really fun page kit, and there are two page kits in the double shot kit. So you get this one and you get another one. You can also check out the flavors of the month kit, which comes with four more page kits and all the fun of getting a new collection every month that you want to but we are no commitment club so you can sign up for one month and if you don't love it 
you will, but if you don't, <laughs> you can quit after a month. Um, you don't, you're not locked into anything long term. So that's a really nice aspect of this kit club. Um, I am looking forward to filling out the journaling on this and telling the story because I certainly watched a lot of movies and read a ton of books during this and I just enjoyed the the journaling cards they were my favorite part of this page kit for sure um, just a lot of great ways to tell your story but with that top one up top it it kind of helps to hide it too from um, the whole world seeing it but then I can pull it out and read it myself um, as time goes on and I want to recall some of those memories thank you so much for stopping by today we will see you again next time